There go limp. There he comes. There he comes. Come on, fishy. Stay with me. Stay out of the weeds. Oh, another great big giant sunfish. Oh my lord. Oh my lord. God. Oh my god. This thing is monster size. We've been growing them big. Look at this thing. Holy smokes. Lord, this thing is the biggest bluegill I think I've ever caught. I know it is. I can't even get him picked up. Good God almighty. That's the biggest bluegill I have ever caught. That thing is, I bet that thing weighs a pound. Maybe more. All right, well, goodbye. Thanks for coming, dude. All right, folks, let's tie up a plain and simple white foam popper. This is intended for bass, but here lately I've been catching a great big giant bluegill on it. It's going to start with a number two plain shake evil claw hook. This is nothing special, believe me. This is nothing special. They're very inexpensive, but they're strong, and they're just about the right size. And this one has a twist to it, which I'm going to take out. I'm going to flatten the barb, just because that's what I always do, because I catch and release fishing most of the time. There, now I got it straightened out. First thing you're going to do... Uh, the material list is pretty simple, whatever you got. This one's going to be white, so whitish or white themed feathers. First thing I like to do is put in some deer hair. I've got some gray bucktail right here. I'm going to put in a clump of that. Take a nice clump of this, not too much, just enough to get the fly started. And at the same time that I'm putting these materials on, I'm building up the shaft of the hook. It'll hold the foam much better. Right here, go to about the bend in the hook. Roll that around just a little bit. Let's put in some marabou. This is a very fluffy feather. This will give it a little bit more body. Come on, get a hold of a big chunk of this stuff. I'm going to cut it off of the shaft. Like this. Come on, get out of here. This is a multiple layered fly. Put this on there. Tie it down. I'm going to put just a few strands of this flashy stuff. Polar ice, I think some of them call it, but it's just flashy stuff to me. You don't need much flash in this. It's a topwater fly, so I'll run this to the back. Just like this. Put it up on top, just like that. Go ahead and cut the loop so it all leans back there just fine. I'm going to take a few strands, one yellow, one white of spinnerbait skirt. I'll do the same with that. I'm going to double it over, slide it to the back, tie it in so it stays on the top of the popper fly best I can. Boop. I'm getting some mass back here. Right, we're going to tie in eh, probably a little, I'll tell you what, I've got some of this light blue synthetic fibers. I'm going to tie in a little bit of that just because I like the color blue. Let me change scissors because those scissors are crappy. Just a little bit of this on top. Tie it in. Tie it all the way back to the back. Make sure it stays on top. There we go. Now we got some blue and some white. I'm going to take a couple of these 
hackle feathers, which they're mostly white. I'll take a couple of the long ones. These two right here. And I'm going to put one down each side. About the same length as all the flashy material. I'm going to make sure that that stays on the side. Once again, going all the way back to the bend of the hook. And that's staying put pretty well the way I want it. I'm going to match this end up with the other end. Tie this on here and try to keep it on the side of the hook. Same thing. Pull it down just a little. There we go. That's perfect. I'm going to run this all the way up before I cut it off. That will give the shaft of the hook quite a bit of meat. I took those, have you noticed, I took them and I just bended them back. So that now it's got a pretty nice size hook shaft. Now I'm going to take, try to get this stuff to lay flat. I'm using a lot of thread in this ply. Now I'm going to take a couple more hackles. Two of these bigger ones. Take the first one, I'm going to strip that stuff off the base. I'm going to strap it on here. And I'm going to start building the hackle. Get that nice and secure. Tie down the rest. Grab another hackle feather, same, same one. one these long ones. I think I'm going to tie it in the opposite way. Tie it. There we go. Okay, let me tie that off and start working the foam. And then I got two types of foam. I got thicker foam, thin foam. You can see these are two different thicks and thicknesses and I want this on the base layer which this is going to be cut just a little longer. I'm going to cut it this side right here and you just need a little piece of it. And I'm going to turn this over. I'm going to slant the front I'm going to slant the back quite steep. I'm going to check for fitness for fit here. All right, that needs a little, a little bit more off the back. Maybe a little more of a slant. There we go. See, it's that part right there. I'm most concerned about because if you if you get this part just right the rest of the fly comes together real well you take a little straw you cut just a little piece of it like this and you slide this over the hook to hold all this material back out of your way so that it does not get trapped under the foam and hopefully this stuff hasn't dried on me while I was doing all that. And you sandwich this together. Try to keep the front level. I've got these little clamps right here and I'm about ready to spill my glue. I've got these little clamps that I got from Harbor Freight. They were a kit of tweezers. I had two of these in there. I've lost one of them, but I got that one left. That super glue generally sets up pretty quick. to cut this to the desired shape which is this and down the back boom just like that check to make sure your glue is holding put your clamp back on there if you think it needs to be clamped a little bit longer all right and then we'll let that sit for a second and then we'll cut the other piece of foam 
which is going to be the thick stuff. Once again, I need a little piece, about half, half the, uh, half the length of the first piece of foam. So let's see, about right here. These proportions, you can play with them, change them to whatever you want. Now what I'm going to do is we're going to take this off of here. We're going to size this up. And we're going to let that come down on both sides of the hook. And then what I want to do is I want to hold that together like this. And then I want to cut this thing at an angle from the back. Boom. So that I get a little piece of foam that looks like this when you open it up. See? And then I'm going to take this and I'm going to sandwich it on here, level with this thing, just like this. Let's get that done. Put that right on there. Let it come down. Try to even it up. Hold it right there. That's where your little clampies come in handy. Because I'm sticking the foam to my hands. Even. Yeah, pretty dang close. Let that squish in there. That foam will become one. Those two layers will become one. There we go. Squeeze out the excess. fish don't care all right let's start putting some color on it let me get my red marker I'm gonna do about this width here just the front of this thing is gonna be red another thing I like about foam is it really accepts the color quite well this don't have to be perfect Said the fish do not care. Alright. Every one of these things is somewhat unique. Now I'm going to put some lateral dots. Just to make it so that it's got something interesting for the fish to look at. Let me shorten that head a little bit. Okay. Now we got that all painted up. Let's put an eyeball on it. I got these package of eyeballs here. A whole bunch of them. Colors that one. We'll give it red eyeballs. I used red eyeballs on the last one. It seems to work. Take a little dop of glue and you put it right where you want it. Or right where it goes, because sometimes you don't have a choice about where you want it and where it goes. Make that eye ride kind of low. And try to stick it to the foam and not the fingers. You're looking straight forward. Oh, perfect. Got it parked away on the red. Sitting nice and low, okay. That's that side. Oh, I'll tell you what, when you add a eyeball to a fly, it just lights up. 
cut it out, Marley. Hush. There we go. If I can get this eyeball on here. Oh, right next to perfect. Right, how do we look? One's a little further forward than the other. But I like them both. Boy, they're not too far off. Alright, now what I want to do is hit this to make the fly a little tougher and make sure those eyes don't come off. I'm going to put my UV glue on it. And this is thin, very thin UV glue. And I'm going to drop it right on the center of that fly. Let it spread out. Encapsulate it. Okay, that's one of them. Watch this stuff smoke. That eyeball will not come off. That'll toughen that fly up a little bit. Do the other side. Oh, hush. Y'all quit. Could do that, give it a big eyeball. What I really want this stuff to do is capture it so that it does not come off. Makes the head a little bigger too. It'll run. Yeah, there we go. See that? That gives those eyes a lot of protection. They will not come off, which I haven't done this with my frog flies yet, but this is essentially a frog fly. If I wanted to make this frog fly, I'd change the color and run a spinnerbait skirt through here for legs, and then it would be a frog fly. But this is a very traditional white popper. I was really surprised how well it worked. Right. This would be the number three I made. The first one I made, I had about a three pound bass just jumped all over it. Buried himself in the weeds. I had to get in the boat to go get him. Alright. That's pretty much it for this fly. And then what you do is you cut this little... Hey, don't be jumping on my hat. You cut this little collar here. Oop. Pull that out of the way. And let the fluffy fly, let the flies freak flag fly. Let's see, come on there, get out of there. There. See how that fluffed up? And when it gets wet, it, it, uh, it doesn't, it doesn't mat down too much. When it hits the water, it flares out. There you go. Perfectly good popper. What do you think? It's a crazy dog. Crazy dog. Crazy dog. Look at Marley, 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 Marley. That thing, that thing big as your head. Look at that. <laughs> <laughs> You're a nut, Marley. You're a nut. Hop down. Hop down. <laughs> All right. Let's get to fishing with this thing.